Okay, this video is going to show proper setup of the Cyclops Indoor Cycle 400 uh, Indoor Trainer. Um, first thing we want to do to start this is uh, unplug the power to the back of the bike so it's not plugged into the wall. Um, we'll get to that here in a moment. Um, and uh, what we want to do is go to hit the mode button uh, three times, go to the uh, menu screen and go ahead and select sensors on the top line there and the first thing we're going to pair up is the uh, the power meter so select power sensor we're going to go down and add IC power that stands for indoor cycle power select that and go ahead and select start pairing then which should already be highlighted under the sensor ID you should see pairing start blinking and as you're pedaling, you should uh, get a sensor ID which has already come up uh, under my uh, sensor ID uh, title there. Um, so we've already paired uh, rather quickly with the, the IC power meter. Um, after that is paired up, we want to go up to the top and select activate sensor. So we want to make sure that's active one and then it'll say IC uh, power one right there. Um, so we've got one of the two sensors paired for the uh, for the 400 uh, indoor cycle. Scroll on down past heart rate sensor um, and the other important one is the RU sensor for the resistance unit. Um, select that and we want to go ahead and add ICRU sensor. Again um, what we're going to do here is go ahead and start pairing um, at that point in time, pairing will blinking. We'll start blinking and go back to the back of the bike. Underneath, go ahead and plug that in. The motor will make a sl slight sound. And back on our console shortly, again, we will get a number once that is plugged in. That's very important that you start this process when it's unplugged um, and uh, the pairing will happen. Uh, once you plug that in. You do not need to be uh, pedaling at that point in time, um, but you do need to uh, have the indoor cycle unplugged. I'm going to hop on the bike here now and uh, get this set up. Um, so now that we've got that sensor, um, again, I'm going to go up to activate sensor. Go ahead and select that. And now we've, we've added the two, uh, two primary sensors. You can go ahead and do the same thing for the heart rate sensor if you're wearing that. Um, go ahead and add one of those, um, but you do not need a cadence or a speed sensor on the Indoor Cycle 400. Uh, the only thing you need is the RU sensor and up on top the power sensor. Um, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and hit the mode button. It's going to go back to our menu screen and then I'm going to go ahead and activate a find sensors. Um, it's an important step, uh, something you probably want to do at the beginning of every ride. Go ahead and select find sensors. That'll tell the Jewel to go ahead and uh, pair up with all the wireless devices that uh, it has in its memory. So uh, select find sensors and start pedaling. And now I'm pedaling. You can already see that target power in the lower right hand corner is at 30. So it's talking to the resistance unit and my wattage that I'm putting out in the upper left hand corner right now is at zero watts. Um, the Indoor Cycle 400, once you do that find sensors, there's going to be a, uh, you know, a moment of connectivity there. Um, I, I always say kind of the 30 to 60 seconds uh, before it's catching itself back up. And you can already see that my power output is uh, nearing that 30 watts. So what I'm going to do now is using the resistance joystick, put the target power up to 100 or a little further even, let's do 150, 160. And you can see very shortly my power output, the resistance units responding uh, to my request of the Jewel to change the resistance. And I'm already back up at that 160, so it did it much faster than that 30 to 60 seconds. But depending on your environment and the wireless signals in the area and how that's being paired up, it can take a little bit longer, but uh, it shouldn't be too much. Um, so that's the correct pairing for the Indoor Cycle 400. Again, just to recap, the um, IC power 
go back to the menu screen here, into sensors, the IC power, make sure that's added, and back to the resistance unit, making sure that we are adding the resistance unit as an ICRU. Um, and that should get you up and running with your Intercycle 400. Um, and uh, hopefully uh, everything's working well and you enjoy the bike. Thanks.